welcome friends to my december haul i'm zoomed really far out right now so you can see like my tripod but this haul clip is not going to be particularly long and some of the things i want to show you are clothes so i need a bigger surface area um the mail has just been like really bad i have so many packages on the way like i have a package that was literally shipped two weeks ago and it's just still not here it just it went from went it's from spc so it went to three different post offices in texas and now is in illinois i've never had a package go from texas to illinois so here's to hoping things get better but i'm gonna start with one of my cyber monday orders i did order from cake worthy they were having like a, i think a 50 or 40 percent off sale on their website and with that you could get this that off of like the percentage off of the sale price of things that were already on sale so I picked up five flannels. I got three of the friends ones. I got all of the girls. So this is the Phoebe flannel. I almost did not pick it up because this color is not me whatsoever. I don't wear things like this, but we will wear it. I did get them in a medium, not really thinking about the fact that these are unisex sizing. If it was a woman's medium, it would be like the perfect amount of roomy. This is really big on me. So here's hoping it shrinks a little. And we'll go for more of like a shacket type of vibe with this. But all of the cake were, were the flannels always like have really cute like phrases on the back. I'm not gonna be able to get this in here good. But this one says, hello, my name is Regina Falange. So I needed to own this because of that saying. The color was not my favorite but it'll be a nice change i don't think i own it i have my closet like color coordinated i think i definitely don't have anything this shade of purple but i don't think i even have a single purple article of clothing next up i have the rachel shirt this is the front of it this color green is also not super me but i wanted all the girls okay so we got the friends on the pocket here rachel on the collar I don't love the names on the collar, but like it'll be covered by my hair. I literally just Instagram hauled these. So I just set all the same stuff so I feel a little bit like a robot. But the back says, what if I don't want to be a shoe? You know, classic. Literally episode one. Got that OG phrase. So that's my girl Rachel. And then my favorite girl is actually Monica. And her flannel is my favorite. It's like the color is good. I do quite like like pale colors if I'm gonna wear a color out of the friends ones this is my favorite the other two are neutral colors and so they're just my favorite but this is Monica's I do wear red quite often Monica friends and then her says welcome to the real world it sucks which is a very me phrase in general I'm, I'm a very much so a Monica if you guys watch Friends, which character are you? Like, me and Chris are definitely, like, I am Monica and he is Chandler. So it works out. So then my two favorites, I got a Star Wars one. It's like a Mandalorian theme. And we've got, like, the Boba Fett crest thing there. Then we have Grogu, and it's really cute because, like, the embroidery doesn't stop. Like, it goes all the way down in the pocket. So it's really cute. And then on the back you guess what it says it's mandalorian themed three two one this is the way super cute love that and then my favorite because what i'm passionate about above all else above star wars above disney above friends above everything is harry potter this one's on this one is unbuttoned because I tried it on. I'm literally going to put it on after this. I already like rolled up the sleeves, everything, was styling it. But the collar here has an H for Hogwarts or for Hannah. It says Hogwarts over here. The pocket says Mischief Managed. I love, love, love this sleeve detail with like the little feet from the Marauder's Map. And then the back just says, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. And this one's in a different font than the rest. And I'm literally putting it on right now. It is so soft. Ilza from Ilza, oh, she just changed her name. Ilza Melts in Plans or something. Ilza, you guys know who she is. She's the shit. She was saying how like soft and nice the quality is of these. And I do have to agree. So next, I have an order from Once Upon a Bron. 
got a couple of things for me and then I did get a gift for my sister um this is another clothing item so I'm gonna stay zoomed out for the clothing piece I'll start with that the clothing piece is actually what is for my sister this video won't go up till January 1st happy new year May 2020 bring all the greatest things to you 2022 whatever but um I wanted to make shipping worth it there was like one thing I really 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 wanted and then she had like these mystery sticker packs for like three or four dollars I was like okay I'll throw that in but the shipping wasn't worth it and the shirts that were available weren't really something I would wear but my sister is going to Disney with me January 18th for my bachelorette party and so I bought her this t-shirt because the owner of Once Upon a Brawn is part of the LGBTQ plus community. She does have a lot of like pride related things in her shop, which is amazing, like Disney and pride. So this is like a mint t-shirt and it has like a little rainbow on the side and in the clouds is a hidden Mickey. So I bought this for my sister. Her Christmas present was like her plane ticket for Florida, but I want her to have something to open. So I thought this would be cute. So that'll be for her and then moving on to the things that are for me they're actually in this little bubble mailer inside of that mailer we'll start with the sticker pack the three random stickers I got we did get you know what let's zoom in real quick okay so we did get the pride ears which is super cute then we did get the Tinkerbell wings. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but they are really cute. And then my favorite one is this one that says reach out and find your happily ever after. Love all three of these. We'll definitely be keeping them. And then the real reason I placed the order was the owner, Bronwyn, Bronwyn, Bron, whatever she prefers to be called. Um, she loves Elsa and Frozen just as much as I do. And she came out with this pin and I had to own this. Literally, there was no doubt in my mind that this was gonna be coming home to me. So that was like the real reason I placed the order, but I wanted to make shipping worth it. So I got my sister that shirt and these stickers. We have one itty bitty SPC order. I would have another one if the post office wasn't doing me so dirty right now, but they are. So let's go through it. There's, it's literally not even a kit. This was my freebie with my order. Super cute. I did get one of these like little pack things. Also, I've literally only gotten four Christmas cards this year and I want to cry. It's only December 6th and the post office is doing me dirty. So we will see. There, I don't have this kit. So I will de-stash those. New year, new beginnings. I'm not using silver for New Year's. Some Valentine's Day stuff little copper deco bits, a little bow vinyl, and some flag overlays. Super cute. And then I just got the, I always get the exclusive new color for the icons. And I got, this is when they started doing seven pages. I got all seven. So there's page one. This was like the gray. Two. Three. Four. six and then the new page of seven which I do really like I don't I won't use like a lot of them honestly but here we are I'll still buy them so that is super cute I'm a big fan of her we love that's it for the stickers for this portion. I have one wax order to show you, and then I'm doing two wax advents, and I'm just gonna show you the days I have so far so I can put them away. My first, my, my actual order here that I have is for um, Fantasy Wax Mounts. I have three samples in here. The first one is Soda Pop, Bubbles, and Candy. It smells just like Sprite. Really like that. We have sweet coconut and vanilla frosting. This is phenomenal. I'm obsessed. I need more. I need that to come to the shop. And we have pine, apple, cinnamon, and bayberry. It's okay. It's like a Christmassy scent. Not my fave. Don't need more of it, but it's not bad. Ah! Literally have crap everywhere. Let me pull everything out. 
I got a lot of multiples in this order. So I have, what, six different scents, but six, 16 scent chalk ups. I got the multiples. Okay, we'll go with the things I have one of. This is from the Grinch release. I got one of Miss Mountain Crumpet, which is frosted pine cones. I actually just melted the sample of this that I had. It's really good. It smells like a nice Christmassy scent. I'll save that for next year. The Grinch, we have cinnamon bark, pine needles, and thyme. Another one that'll be saved for next year. I just have so much Christmas wax that's older that I would prefer to use it first. We have Max, cinnamon, orange zest, and cranberry woods. Again, a really nice Christmassy scent that will be good for next year. Then we have Martha May, who this is like a super like sultry deep red. And this is spiced cranberries. Chris really liked this one. It's like not the candied cranberry. It's like a dark, juicy cranberry. This is the type of cranberry I like. I might actually pick up a couple more of these because I do really enjoy it. And then the multiples. I did get two of Whoville which is ginger, nutmeg, vanilla, cocoa. I might add more of these to my cart as well. I just always have a cart going so that of like stuff I want more of, I pop in my cart so when they have a new release, I can just add the new things. This is really good. It almost reminds me of like a gingerbread cookie. Really big fan. And then the next thing, let's bring it into frame. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten of the scent. And I got ten of the scent. I have more coming, don't worry, because I've been begging Kirsten to bring this scent back for months. Literally talked to her about it when I saw her in May been asking for it because this is hands down the best peppermint scent I've ever experienced in my life. Fantasy Wax Melt always performs well for me. I think I've had maybe two flops ever from them. And this is Cindy Lou Who, which is just peppermint candy canes. A whole lot of the sprinkles fell off of that one. So we'll go with one of the cuter ones. And it is just the sharpest, most nose clearing, delicious peppermint. I have one left from like the first run. It was in like a Disney Christmas collection. I think it was like candy canes on Main Street or something along those lines. So I've been holding on to it and I'm so excited for all of my babies. And I think I ordered five more. She only had, I would have ordered more if they had more in stock. So here they are. So that's my Fantasy Wax Melts order. That's not the end of Fantasy Wax Melts because I am doing their wax advent. Theirs is like an every other day advent. You open it on odd days. So I'm filming this on the 6th, I believe. Yeah. So I only have three days here that I've opened, but we will go through them. We have day one. I kept them in the bag so I can tell you which day, which is Charlie Brown Christmas, Balsam and Cedar. This is another good one that I'll save for next year. Delicious. Smells just like a Christmas tree. I have like the spruce hand soap from Bath and Body Works going right now and it smells just like this. I literally have glitter everywhere. Day two has been my favorite so far. And this one is a Christmas story, which is Chris's favorite Christmas movie and it's in peppermint sticks and vanilla, which he loves peppermint. It's his favorite scent. It definitely smells distinctly different than the other Whoville one, but it is, it's not as nose clearing, but it's heavenly. If they bring leftovers to shop, that will be something I pick up. And then day three is also amazing. It is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation in Snickerdoodle. And it does, it smells just like a Snickerdoodle cookie. You really get the cinnamon sugar, but it's not like a spicy cinnamon. It's like a sweet cinnamon. You get the cookie, delish. I've been highly impressed with that advent so far. And then I am also doing the L3 Waxy Wonders Advent. I've done six days so far. They came in these like little like gift card thingies is usually what you use them for. And they have like a ribbon around them. But like every single one of mine is like broken open. The good thing they got the ribbons on it because the sticky does not stay. 
So this was a day one Hufflepuff Roasted Chestnuts Bonfire Bliss. I can't tell how I feel about this. I'm going to keep it because I don't hate it. I really get the um, Hufflepuff, like the pumpkin pastries that's in that. You get a slight smokiness from the bonfire, but it's nothing too intense, so I think I might be okay with it. Day two was heavenly. It is this one. It's like a little gingerbread shape. And this is in blueberries and cream, sugar cookie royale, and cotton candy frosting. You really get the blueberry. Super strong. It's a very fake blueberry, but I don't mind that. So that was day two. Day three is sugar cookie frosted cuppy cakes in white cake batter. It's like this little tile shape. This is delicious. I really love it. Mm. Just like a very vanilla bakery scent. Day four. This one is Mac Apple Zucchini Bread and Espresso. I don't love Mac Apple. I will melt this. I don't dislike it enough to pass it along. But I don't smell a single ounce of zucchini bread or coffee. All I smell is Mac Apple. And I'm also just kind of, it's like winter now, like just end of fall season. So I'm really over fall scents. But it's not bad. Day five, however, is bad. I hate this one. I don't know what the scent notes are. It's all is calm, joy to the world. It smells very laundry to me. Ugh, not a fan at all. This will be de-stashed immediately. And then day six, which was today, is my favorite day so far. And it is salted caramel vanilla ice cream and white elephant exchange. It's very caramely. So if you don't like caramel scents, you would loathe this, but I love caramel. So I think it's delicious and I love it. So that's it for this portion of the video. Hopefully, my orders start rolling in so that this video can be more of a feature length film instead of a commercial. But yeah, see you guys in the next clip. Hello and welcome to another portion of this haul. It's literally only like four days after I filmed the first portion, but I've gotten a lot of mail in the last couple of days. And I don't really have anything scheduled to be delivered until it's Friday right now, until I think like Tuesday of next week. So I want to get all this stuff put away. I like to start fresh at the beginning of the week. Um, I do have my SPC mystery for this month that is just like lost in the mail. It was shipped like today's Friday. So this upcoming Sunday will be three weeks from when it shipped. And like they shipped it. It is at no fault of SPC. It is just lost in the mail. So it'll eventually figure itself out and arrive. I don't remember what it even looked like at this point, but I do remember I felt very indifferent about it. So I'm not really super hyped for it to get here anyway. This portion is going to be predominantly wax. I have three orders here from Carly Plans. One says, hey, Annie. Hey, my love and sister. So... I am just going to pop in to all of these. I think this one's the first order. And to show you everything, I am on the Carly Plans PR team. You can use code Hannah15 to save 15% off and get my freebie. Or every time she does new releases, the new releases are 20% off. So if you're picking those up and those up alone, just pop my name in the notes to sell her. Or if she's having any other sale, pop my name in there, get my freebie, you know the deal. She's got so many freaking, okay, this was my old freebie. So, yeah, this is my old freebie because this is my first, the, this, I think I ordered this, I don't know, maybe before Black Friday, I don't really know, but my freebie, this was an all orders freebie, this was the November freebie, $15 plus freebie, and the $30 plus ruby. I love the December colorway. It's just Elsa. So I got the tissues because I don't like knock on this table's not even wood. Knock on wood, knock on my head. I don't really get sick. Um I couldn't. The last time I was sick was November 2019. But Chris sometimes has doctor's appointments, so on and so forth. And I don't really have anything to mark it because when I was binge watching House, I used all of my like doctor stickers to mark that. So picked these up and assorted. 
I also got the bill slips and assorted. I thought those were a unique way to mark a bill due. I love the money jars, so I got that and assorted. I got, must have got the tissues in the November colorway. This is no longer available. The piggy banks and the bill slips in the November colorway and the money jars. <laughs> the piggy banks in assorted. I got the magical pizza because I am going to Disney World and just because I wanted it. And the gingerbreads. So cute. So that was my first order from Carly Plans. I'm actually really excited. I've been very busy, stressed out, doing all the things for getting the Black Friday orders out. And um, I'm like, Chris is streaming right now, so I can't work on orders. And I just want to like lay in bed with my heated blanket and pull all these stickers off. So my next order, Fat Stack of Freebies. This is the December freebie, which of course you can no longer get. Super cute though. Ooh, I love this. This is so cute. The razor phone, the Tamagotchi, the cursor. Is this a paper shredder? That's so cool. The Game Boy, VHS tape, CD, um, cassette tape, boom box. Super cute. This is the $15 plus freebie. I love it. This is my new freebie. You'll get it in either one of the three core colorways, which is this is the brights. So you can get it in brights, pastels, neutrals, or whatever the colorway of the month is at the time. I think she popped in all of her PR team. I don't care whose you use. Just use somebody's, save some money, support Carly. She's good shit. We love her around here. So this is my freebie. I have the retro computer, the camera, the snowflake, because Elsa vibes. The laundry detergent, the fork, knife, and plate, Diet Coke, game board, money, Happy Meal, and a cupcake. This is Maria's freebie. This is the neutral colorway. Again, you'll get any of these in any of the colorways. She has the um, butterfly, like the gothic tumbler, the wine and dishes, bubble bath, um, sticker package. It's like a coffin vase almost. The ring planner opened, the manic manicure gel thingy the switch and the sorting hat this is ariel's this is her pastel colorway she if you want like her freebie use her name she has the like makeup palette stickers planner tv the gothic tumbler the car books and coffee cinnamon roll spray bottle and wax warmer this is emily's she has like the lingerie hard cider a soda which is weird because Emily does not drink soda. I know that about her, so I don't know why she picked that. But um, laundry, cleaning the toilet, tattoo gun, scrunchie, measuring cups, laundry, and the nacho. And this is Elisa's freebie, which is the TV, the pajamas. Ew, why did I say that? I don't even call them pajamas. Anywho, the stickers, the planner, the car, the phone, the, um, what are they called? AirPods, the pillow, the switch, and the umbrella. Everybody says very, very like useful, like usable, that's the word. So that is that. And then I think this was my PR order. Oh my God, this colorway is so good. I might have to order more before this month's done because I'm pretty sure that the January colorway, which will be available when this is off, is gonna be like all pinks, which is, I need like three of each shape because Y'all know pink is like overpopulated in the planner community. It's in every kit, but blues is also very popular in kits. So I do have the wax warmers in the blue colorway. Board games. I got the shopping bags in the bright. Why the fuck did I buy this? I don't know why I bought this. Don't really want it. But here we are. The game controllers in bright. The TVs. Got two sheets of the TVs. And two sheets of the cutting machines so that was my second order and then this is like my fatty boy order you know got the $50 plus freebie in here that's how you know she's a thickums I'm not gonna go in detail over all the freebies again but I will show them all to you this is mine in the pastel colorway we got another December freebie, another 15 plus freebie. Yes. This is going to be the color white for January. It's like Valentine's, lovey pink, and perfect. And then this was the $50 plus freebie for this. I bought this like, I don't, I don't know if this is just for $50 plus freebie. I don't know. I got that as a freebie. Let that be known. 
literally everything in here this is all the new color why we've got the bullseyes the like computers cameras piggy bank money jar takeout version two birthday cupcakes laundry detergent this is like my favorite one of my favorites obviously it's not my freebie but i'm obsessed with it magical ears i am using the magical 50th kit when i go to disney in january so these will match perfect plates retro computer i got two of those because this is one of my favorite sheets the cell phones i got them in this colorway and then i got them a whole sheet in every colorway i've had this issue i don't know if it's my service my internet or my apartment but like my phone calls drop so i have to facetime people instead and then i just get stuck on facetime it's usually my sister or one of my best friends shanna and like i don't really have any phone stickers so i got the cell phones in all the things dollar bills pillows obviously these will be perfect for the magical 50th kit like the happy meals I got the cinnamon rolls because I don't have this sheet. Cloud planner, camcorder, oh my gosh. Credit cards and the scribble moons. So this is my new fat stack from Carly Plans. This is all just freebies because she's amazing. And yeah, we are now gonna move into wax. The first thing I'm going to go over is my Broadway Wax subscription. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I did cancel my subscription. Not because I don't love Broadway Wax, but because my wax collection has gotten back to being out of control. Being honest. And I don't have time to order mystery wax that I might not actually like. I would rather, it's like $40 a month, I would rather put the $40 a month into something that I know I will like. Granted, I do usually like almost everything in the box. Usually there's one to two things I don't like. However, I canceled it before I even got this box in the mail and then I got it in the mail and I only like three things in the entire box. So I feel like that's the universe telling me that I made the right choice. This was the weird freebie. It's popcorn. I'm not gonna eat this. It's gonna be stale as hell. No, thank you. Not a fan. Um, Let me pull everything out. Trying to figure out which ones were the ones I liked. I'll go over those first. Because there's so few. I hate that. Yeah, I hate that. Yeah, okay. So there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight things in here, and I only like three, which is less than half. So that's not good. So the three things I like, this was, I think, a Christmas story themed. I've never seen the movie, so I don't understand the references. But I know this is the leg lamp from there, so I do like this one. It's called A Christmas Story, and this is Sugar Plum Berry, Christmas Elf Treats, Christmas Cookies, and Christmas Splendor. And yeah, it just smells like your baking cookies. It's not, like, great, but... Given the fact I don't like most things in this box, we'll give it a good, it's a good. This one's in the shampoo present and it's called Red Rider. Fruity Kisses, Mac, Apple, Sugared Strawberries, and Champagne Toast. This is like a sparkly, fruity scent. It's actually really good. And this one's my favorite. There's these three snack bars in here and this one's called Ralphie to the Rescue. Frosted Animal Cookies, Berry Cobbler, Orange Juice, Zucchini Bread, and Cream Cheese Frosting. And it's phenomenal. This one's really, really, really yummy. I'm a big fan. And then everything else I don't like. We have this souffle. Has like a purse and a lipstick. My sister liked this one. I had her smell all these. So I will pass this on to her. And this one is What a Mother Does. A black raspberry vanilla. Very parfait. And Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. I hate Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. So it's a no for me. But my sister liked it. So that will go live with her her we have this one which like bite me it's called sticky situation and bite me it's good maraschino cherries is good blackberries is good marshmallow is good but then they add the sugared violets and give it this weird floral 
and I just, oh, it like smells okay at the beginning. You get the bite me in the maraschino cherry and then you get the violets and it's just disgusting. I'll see if Carly wants that one because I will not. This is, um, this does not glow in the dark. At least when I tried it, it was not glowing. And this is Countdown to Christmas. Again, one that starts really strong. Winds of the North, Spearmint, Peppermint, Buttermint, Pink Sugar, and then they add Lavender. Last month they had a lavender that wasn't so bad. I was talking to my friend Krista because she had gotten it. She said, this isn't so bad. And I'm like, it's not like the terrible lavender. This is the repulsive lavender. No. <coughs> I know Carly won't like that. Nobody I know will like that. I'll give it to my grandma because she'll just take whatever. This one's called Up on Santa's Lap. It's actually really, really cute. But it's Palo Santo, which I hate, Marshmallow Fireside, which I hate, Cupcakes at Tiffany's, which I hate, and Cotton Candy, which I'm very indifferent about. And this is disgusting. No. Ooh, oh, no. It makes me want to vomit. Curly might like that, so I'll give it to her. And this one is like a sleigh, and it's called When You're a Wimp. Cereal, Marshmallow, Bar, Rainbow, Sherbert, Grape, Glow Pop, and Rocky Candy. I loathe anything with grape in it. Oh, it's so bad. I hate it. So that will be finding a new home as well. So that was that whole box. Didn't really like it. So yeah. Next, we will get into my order here from Fantasy Wax Melt. I do have three samples, which are all coming out to, to the today, the day I'm filming this as part of the Full House bundle. Gain Island Fresh, which is their Danny Tanner scent. And it's exactly what you would picture Danny Tanner to smell like. It's a fine laundry scent. I'll probably buy it just because I want the whole collection. Rainbow Sherbert. This is the Stephanie Tanner scent. It smells, again, okay. It's not my favorite. And the Sugared Corn Pudding, which is the Joey scent. <laughs> this one's really good. I'm going to get a couple of these. Big fan. So let me pull all this out real quick hard to get these scent shot cups out of the bubble mailers for me. I don't know. I'm like an idiot, I guess. And I'm constantly like knocking the lids off of them. I'm going to pop these in this box for now. Okay. So I got the Elf collection. I actually hate the movie Elf. I hate Will Ferrell and everything he's in, including this movie. So the first thing I have is Jovi, which is Holly Berries. I'm pretty sure this is the Zoe Deschanel character. Couldn't really tell you. But yeah, it's very Christmassy. I'll save that. Most of these Christmas scents will be saved for next year. I just, you know, wanted to support. So we've got Son of a Nutcracker, Pine, Apples. I always want to say pineapple. It was pine, comma, apples, comma, cinnamon, and bayberry. I really like this one. Kind of smells like a craft store, but elevated. We have got Mr. Narwhal, Orange, Cranberry, Clove, and Evergreen. My sister hated this one. I really like it. I think it's like just a nice, like fresh Christmas scent. We got Buddy the Elf, which is musical or a magical. Why would I say musical? Musical bl oh my god. A magical blend of candy, soda pop, and bubbles. So cute. This is so strong. It smells like Sprite to me. I really, really enjoy that. Then we have Santa, I know him, which is balsam and warm vanilla sugar. I love Christmas tree mixed with sugar cookie. This is no exception. It is divine. And then I got two of this one because I got it as a sample and I knew it was delish, which is cotton headed ninny muggins, which is sweet coconut vanilla frosting. And yeah, it's phenomenal. Glad to have two. And then I stocked up, got five of two different scents. I got five of... This one, I've already bought so many of these, but they keep being still in stock. So if y'all aren't going to snatch them up, I am. Which is the Burrow in that strawberry bread. It's so good. Like, it has no business being this yummy. So here we are, a million more. And then I did get five more of Cindy Lou. Kirsten did say that they're coming out with a couple of new core scents, I think, in two weeks from now. And it's going to be, a, like, she's like, there's some one scent that just recently sold out. We weren't going to bring it as a core scent, but now we are. And I pray it's this one, which is called Cindy Lou this year. And it is peppermint candy canes. It's like the best peppermint scent ever. 
it has sold out since this. I now own 15 of them. I don't care. I love it. I've been begging for her to bring it back. She brought it back. I bought it. It is what it is. So, let me get this situated. Really quick. Okay, so I have two Advent Days from Fantasy Wax. There's just like an every other day Advent to show you guys since my last video, literally a couple days ago. Um, day four, which was the Polar Express, and it is Mountain Balsam Cedarwood and Cranberry. It's my favorite Christmas movie. And yeah, it smells like a beautiful Christmas scent. We'll be excited to use that next Christmas. And this one Chris hates, but I like it. It's Home Alone and it's hot cocoa. He hates chocolate scents. I love them, so is what it is. I think it smells literally delicious, just like hot cocoa. And then I have four Advent Days here from L3, day seven. These containers suck. This is Snooze Button Cotton Candy Craze. I hate it. I hate it so much. That's gotta not live in my life. It's got lavender in it, and I don't like lavender. This one is Wild Current Sandalwood Whole Vanilla Beans. My sister did like this one, so I'll give it to her. I hate it. I think it's disgusting, but Chris and I both hate sandalwood, so that's kind of a given when we have a scent like that. Day nine is Silver and Gold Christmas Vacation. This is some sort of caramel apple. I don't know the exact notes, but I do love that. I love caramel scents. And then this is today's day 10, which is Frosty Blizzard Breezes. It's definitely minty. I don't know what else is, what is in it exactly, but it's a nice minty scent, so big fan. So I have a really tiny order from Black Magic Moth. I don't have a freebie, I don't think which is fine. I've told Carly lots of times, if the freebies that you have ready to go are something I won't like, don't bother giving it to me because I'm just going to give it back to her. So that was probably the case, but I got two bars in Snickerdoodle. Which is delicious. It's definitely like a spicy scent, but cinnamon, oh, cinnamon. Snickerdoodles are pretty spicy. So I really like those. And then I got two bags of these shapes. I did request this one. I do love the shapes. I hope they keep doing shapes. And this is in Santa Baby, Christmas Tree, Candy Cane, and Sugar Cookie. Like, what a good combo. It's definitely, like, I'm not really smelling a ton of peppermint. I smell the tree and I smell the sugar cookie. And maybe a touch of mint, which makes sense because Carly hates peppermint. So it would make sense sense for it to be lightest on the scent she does not like. Okay, and then the last thing I have to show you guys is my Black Friday order from Vintage Chic Scents. I did get this freebie, which is the same freebie I got last time. I don't know if this is always the freebie, but collectible lunchbox, peanut butter, sweet raspberry jam, and zucchini bread. I did get this in a full size, so we'll go over it then. But I got six loaves during her Black Friday sale. Just gonna go over them as they are in these stacks. This is the first one. It is gray and it has like hollow glitter on it. And it is called Goodbye and Good Night Bang. I don't know if that's from something unfamiliar. But this is rich vanilla cupcakes topped with peanut butter, cream cheese frosting. And honestly, when I first got this one in, all I could smell was the cream cheese frosting. And I was like, eh, it's okay. But it's been cold and snowy here in New York. So now that it's been in my like home warming, I really get like the peanut butter and the like cupcakes. So I'm a big fan of that. Next, we have Sandy Claws, which is just like a tan wax, no sparkles. And this is just milk and cookies. And it literally smells like milk and cookies. It's delicious. I love that. Then we have Buttermint Bakery, which is like a mint color. And it's got like hollow glitter. This is buttery vanilla, fresh rolled dough, gooey batter, buttermint, and a hint of sugared almond milk if you walked into a bakery. And I'm obsessed with this. 
there's no chocolate note in here, but it smells to me exactly like an Andy's mint, like the ones you get at Olive Garden. <laughs> smells just like that to me. Then we got Fluffer, no Fluffer and Nutter, which is sweet and salty peanut butter, gooey marshmallows, and fresh baked bread. I love fresh baked bread scents. And with the peanut butter, oh my god, it smells like a English muffin with peanut butter on it. It's so, this is so good. I love it. This one I got with Chris in mind, and he's obsessed with it. And it's called the Abominable Snowman of Pasadena. And it is white and sparkly. And it's peppermint cream, sweet peppermint, icy peppermint, and creme de mint. And this is like a nose clearing, clean out your sinuses mint. It's really, really good. Very strong. And then finally, this is the one that I got as the freebie. It's like tan and glittery. Collectible lunchbox, raspberry jam, peanut butter, and zucchini bread. I liked my first sample of this so much that I was like, yep, getting a loaf. It's so good. The raspberry is very jammy, not floral. Raspberry almost always goes floral to me. It's not in this. And you get the peanut butter and the zucchini. It's just heavenly. But that is everything for this portion in the haul. I'll see you guys in the next one. So we are here with another haul clip. I was not intending on this clip being kind of short. I expected it to be like a kind of fatty clip. But, um, so today is Wednesday. My Rose Girls Mario Melter, I got I think like 15 different scents in that, was in my city on Sunday. So I thought, okay, it'll be here Monday. I checked on Monday, it was just like departed my city. And then it's just been, I'm in New York and it's just been bouncing around New Jersey at this point. Then my birdie's making sense order. Usually I get stuff like she'll mail it and then two days later it'll be here because she lives like three hours from me. And like last night before I went to bed, literally at three o'clock this morning, it was like in my city and I just checked this morning to see if it was up for delivery and it's departed the facility. So, hmm, let us just jump in. I have two sticker thingies, well technically three, but I have like an SP two SPC packages and one Keytown package and then some wax. We'll start with SPC and we'll start with the Cyber Monday Mystery. Start with this, this is the print impressions thing. I wish nothing against print impression, no issue with him, he's probably a very nice guy. I just don't care about these things. Like, I care more about stickers. I am going to use this, actually. It's supposed to be for a passport. I already have a passport cover that I prefer that's, like, white and gold. But, um, <clears throat> going to Disney in January. And, like, I don't have a wallet. Like, this is my purse. Make sure none of my personal info is showing. Besides, like, my name. I don't really care. But, like... I just have this pocket here that has, like, all of my cards in it. So, I don't, like, have a wallet. And, like, I can take off the handles on my purse and, like, use it as a wallet. But it's gigantic. Because this has, like, card slots, I'm just going to use this as my wallet and pop it in my backpack for Disney. So, I mean, like, it's useful. I just would prefer collabs with sticker shops over things like that. But that's just a personal preference. I'm sure tons of people love that. So for the kit, I personally am obsessed with it. First and foremost, there is this Once More With Love, like, travel-y freebie. I love to travel. It's, like, what I live for 100%. I want to see as many places as I can. So I do like this. The foil bundle is Gold Twinkle. I keep, like... I don't keep the bougie box pages because I prefer my underlays from my shop because they're more obnoxious. So I will pop those in my D stash box and then keep everything else. So that's fun. And then the kit. I love this. I love the colors. I love the art. It's the kittenish girl dress art. I love everything about it. With that being said, I love traveling. If you don't like traveling, I can see you not enjoying this kit. But oh my god, I'm obsessed. I literally am obsessed. I love this box so much. I like the passports. Cutie tall girl. I probably won't use because I don't have red hair. 
uh, I love these colors. These two together remind me of that Calispera, I think is how you said it, or Calis, something like, hey, kit. it had like the fashion man in it. That was like a summer kit, but I love this kit. Love the bottom washi. I hate that this box isn't like a box, but that's fine because there's so many others. She's really cute. I love the, the sage green, and then even more boxes. I love this kit. That is my take on how I feel. Next up, I got the next color, or this order. I didn't order this on Black Friday, but I got the Black Friday freebies, which I'm not mad about because this journaling card is literally so freaking cute with like Huvo. I don't know what I'll use it for, but I am keeping it. I don't ever keep journaling cards. I used to when I had like my old job and I had a cubicle. I would use the them to decorate it. I just, I just love this. It's so cutie. So we'll keep that. And then there was this once more with love sheet. Love it. This love it. And then this like hurts my eyes in the best possible way. So that's awesome. And then I did get the doodles in, I think there's seven, eight, page, seven pages now. It's so fuzzy and it won't go away. And so I got all of them. This was like the nude color. So I'll go, I guess, in backwards order. So seven, six, five, four, three, Two, and the Disney sheet one but I don't um, go through these and I take off like the same ones on every single sheet and then the rest that I will not use go in my D stash and then I got the friends kit I have two planners and this I plan on using in one of my planners for Carly's birthday probably I would use it for my friend Caitlin's birthday but her birthday is in May which is my wedding month and I just want to do all like lovey kits that month so any, this is the bottom washi. I did not realize this when I purchased it, but it is so cute. It has like the theme song. So cute. This was the just order freebie. Love that, except for like, it's like cut so you can't see Joey, but whatever. And then this is the kit. Jess literally killed it with this art. This box, hello, my name is Princess Consuela Banana Hammock. Literally just cannot the dog we love oh these colors are so unique and fun i feel like kids always lean pink or blue and then everybody in the planning community always freaks out when kids are not pink and blue because it's just like so fun and different and yeah so that is it for scribble prince co i love that kit it's so good and then my next sticker order is like kind of a thick one from p-town or i lied i have another spc package in here we'll go over this this was the december 2021 mystery this also got very lost in the mail it took i think three weeks to get to me and like no fault to spc it shipped it just like was not here this came with a lavender hollow, which I actually will keep the bougie boxes for this because I just love lavender hollow. And it's in like this very pretty star pattern. And I'm just a big fan. Love it. Love it. The kit I don't love, but like it's fine. I don't hate it enough to de-stash it or sell it. I mean, if you really want this kit without the foil, you can hit me up and I'll sell it to you because I don't know when I'll use it. But like I'm just not a spa day type of girl. I hate baths. I don't own a single piece of skincare. These colors are what do it for me. I love like this this color scheme is just everything to me. And the patterns are really pretty. And since this is mystery, it's the mystery format and the extra skin tones. So honestly, the like lavender hollow over the dark blue is gonna be so pretty so that's actually everything from spc and now we have a fat order from ketone we're doing a pretty good sale i haven't actually flipped through all of these some of these have a time and a place i plan on using them some of them i just bought because i felt like it the first one i do plan on using this 
for my sister's birthday in April. So funny. And it is this Rugrats kit. I did just come out with like, I'm gonna zoom in a little so I have to stand. I did just come out with like Rugrats um, overlays. So it'd be really cute with this kit. Full boxes. I don't know what format is. I got this in glossy because this matte paper is really gross. His themes are what get me because like their format in general is just not good. Pointless page. These need to be updated to not have the things on them. <laughs> this pattern's so funny to me. Oh my god, the bottom washi is so good. And it's actually a split bottom washi, which I enjoy. So I'll be using that for my sister's birthday. This next one, no clue when I will use it. No plans. But it's just so cute. It's like Gaston's Tavern theme. Bell in her blue dress, all of like the girls fawning over Gaston. Might use this in the fall next year because it's very fall like colors. I don't think the Rugrats cat even had glitter headers, so that'll be something I have to pull in for my collection, which is fine. I have plenty. And then the bottom washi. The next one, I also have no plans on when I will use it. Maybe sometime in the spring because it's spring colors, but who knows. It's Great British Bake Off themed, so I needed it. And yeah, I just, this page just pisses me off, honestly. And the, like, these piss me off. I don't know, I do not like his format, but his themes get me. And then that's the bottom washi. This next one I do plan on using in March. I do an entire month, the, the entire month, like themed around Chris because it's his birthday. And this is very him. This was the freebie in my order, not keeping it. But this is like Donkey Kong themed and it's like a scene. So it goes like this. I gotta sneeze. Oh, it won't go out. So, I'm excited about this. This will be cute. <sighs> Glitter header series looks like very 4th of July based on these colors. It's really funny. He thought this kit was cool. I showed it to him. The little things and the bottom washi. The next kit is also going to be the next two kits actually are both gonna be for Chris's birthday month. This next one's Attack on Titan themed. This is the only place I can find like decent anime kits. Just loves Attack on Titan. I think it's okay. Don't hate it, don't love it. Very indifferent about it, but here we are. The bottom wash is kind of boring on her. The next is like a Zelda kit. I think Chris said this was from Breath of the Wild. I've never played Zelda, but it's Chris's favorite video game of all time. He has a Zelda tattoo, the whole nine yards. So this is the full boxes. That's like a really cool box. I like the gems, that's cute. The colors are pretty, and then the bottom wash is kind of lame. The next one I plan on using for Carly's birthday from Carly Plans. Have two planners, so I'll use this in one and then the friends in the other. This is a Sailor Moon kit. Have like these extra boxes. This is like the glitter page you could get. And then these are the rest of the boxes. So, cute. I love the colors again. This is like a very amazing, like I just love this kind of a color scheme. It's very, oh, I guess these came in the kit and I bought them. Hate that for me, but okay. Honestly, I'll probably use them as labels because the kit doesn't have like the best. Ooh, I like that there's like a little pattern behind there. So the bottom washi is very pretty. And the last kit I just bought because I thought it is absolutely stunning and it is like Beauty and the Beast. It's not even one of my favorite movies and I don't know why I got two Beauty and the Beast kits. But it looks like the stained glass windows and that's just stunning. So pretty. Ah, 
little thingies and the bottom washi. So that is everything from Keytown. And that's all the stickers for this portion. We're gonna go throw away all these fellows and we'll pop into the wax. So we've been continuing on with my advent. We'll go through the fantasy wax because there's only three of them because it's an every other day advent. This one was day six. Eloise at Christmas time is a sweater weather type, which isn't like a fave of mine. It just smells like a bathroom scent to me. It doesn't even smell like fall or Christmas. To me, it just smells like something I would melt in the bathroom. So there's that. I feel like Eloise should have been like candy. Anywho, this one is a Christmas Carol in eggnog. This one's so yummy. It's so strong. Super good, love that one. And then this next one, it sounds so basic for day eight, but it was, it's so good. This is in Claws and it's vanilla butter and sugar cookies. Oh, it's so good. Like something about it is magical. I don't know what it is. It first sounds like butter, that's gross, but no. This is phenomenal. If they bring like overstock to the shop, I will pick up more of these. It is not a Christmas scent. It's like a beautiful bakery. Obsessed. So that was the fantasy advent ones I have not shown y'all. And then we have, um, what is it called? L3, I have the advent, and then I have an order that came in from her. So from the advent, day 11 was orange chiffon, cinnamon rolls, buttercream frosting, and brown sugar. I love orange chiffon cake. Mixed with the cinnamon rolls is really yummy. I do enjoy her a lot. Day 12, I always put it back in these so I can keep it on track for you this one's don't cross dreams rice crispy treats peeps cake batter peeps and cake batter i've said this in my haul i don't get don't cross dreams i know it's like a vanilla blend but i don't think it's like anything special this just taste smell tastes smells like a super weak vanilla scent not impressed don't hate it but like not excited about it i guess like i'm excited about the orange chiffon cake not excited about her. This next one is Salty Sea Air, Ozone, and Fraser Fur. This is a bathroom scent. That's not just how I feel about Salty Sea Air. It's like, okay. 14. This one's really good. This one is Cookie Therapy, Brown Sugar Pound Cake, and Pink Frosted Cake. This is phenomenal. I'm excited about this. You really get the Pink Frosted Animal Cookie. And the cookie therapy, which has pretzel in it, and you guys already know. I love pretzel. And this one was today's, and I hate it. It is sugared plums, blackberry jam butter cookies, and blueberry muffin. To me, plum almost always smells great. And yeah, it's so gross to me. So that will not live in my house. So then I have two samplers. I got the coffee sampler. And I got the mint sampler. And I'm gonna tell you guys something. I enjoy every single scent in both of them, which never happens. Never. There's some I don't love as much as others, but there's none that I'm like, oh, I cannot love that. I did get three samples in here. This is the first one, Candy Cane Forest, which is carrot candy cane serendipity and ice cream soup bread. It's pretty yummy, big fan, will melt. This one's Vampire's Thirst. This is very fruity, so it's fine. And this one's so good. Pumpkin Sugar Donuts Cupcakes at Tiffany's and Cookie Royale. I don't love cupcakes at Tiffany's, but it doesn't bother me in this. It's really yummy. Big fan. I'm gonna start with the, the coffee sampler though. Oh. First up, I'm just gonna grab them how they are. We have Jolly AF, a grand half-calf roasted coffee with no sugar added, hazel flavoring made with organic fair trade coconut milk. And this smells like a beautiful, it's definitely coffee and definitely coconut. Mm, it's so yummy. I'm melting a coffee scent right now that like smells really bad. So that's kind of why I want to do these first. This one is espresso better than sex cake, which I don't know what's in that. And then um, cream cheese frosting. This one's kind of weak. It's very light at the moment. 
but I'm gonna let these cure for a long time. I always do. But right now, this one's just kind of a meh. This one I love. Coffee bean, coffee house, coffee bean, orange, and vanilla coffee. I think Lori Brown started the trend of the orange mixed with coffee, and it's just gone crazy from there. And it's so good. It somehow it just works. Love obsessed. We've got zucchini bread, sugar cookie, royale espresso. You guys know I'm obsessed with anything with zucchini bread. This is no exception. It's fantastic. Coffee bean, sweet bakery dough, and sugar cookie dough. This is another one that's a little bit weak right now. I think it needs time to sit. It's not smelling like much at this point. We got tiramisu, espresso, and cherry almond. I'm only getting cherry almond on this, which I don't mind. I love cherry almond. But just being transparent, I don't smell any coffee in this. Also, I much prefer these just flat buns to the chunky buns. I hated the chunky buns for the simple fact that when they do the chunky buns, they do like the chunks as like the theme, like so this one's coffee, the chunks would be the coffee and the over pour would be the other. So you'd have to like make sure you smelt it in the right place. Hated that, love these so much more. Coffee bean, vanilla bean, Noel, and cinnamon sugar. I love cinnamon with coffee. Sense wise, I hate coffee in general, like to eat or drink. Mm, it's so good, so good. And then finally for the coffee sampler, we have peppermint mocha sweet cream. This one actually smells really gross right now. Oh, I'm gonna let that sit. I don't know, it smells like spoiled. I don't know if it's the sweet cream or what, but that one might eventually get de-stashed because as of this moment in time, that makes me want to vomit, but we will see. Things change because when I got that in the mail, I did not feel that way about it. Toss it all of this wax in here so I can carry it and put it away easier. Okay, the mint sampler. Okay, first up, spearmint, vanilla, ice cream, birthday cake, sugar, cookie, royale. I love it. I love mint and bakery. The spear spearmint is interesting with the bakery. I don't think I've had spearmint and bakery. I've just had peppermint and bakery. But I do really like that. Next, we have wintergreen adipose. This smells just like gum to me. Buttermint, cupcakes at Tiffany, and sweet bakery dough. This one smells like an Andes mint, which I love. It's so good because cupcakes at Tiffany's does have chocolate in it, so that mixed with the mint smells like an Andes mint candy to me. This one's creme de menthe buttermint cake batter. The creme de menthe is very nose clearing. So this is very minty, which obsessed. I love a heavy, strong mint. Peppermint steel sugar. This is like a manly peppermint. Yeah, it's like a peppermint cologne. And then this one is twisted peppermint pink sugar crystals. This one smells like a peppermint perfume. This smells like a feminine peppermint. And this one smells like a man masculine peppermint. This one is like the weirdest of, this is my least favorite. It's rosemary, mint, boom boom, and pistachio ice cream. I don't hate it though. It smells like what hotel bathrooms smell like. Like specifically, like every hotel bathroom smells like the same. This is what it smells like. So I'm just gonna use this in the bathroom. And then last but not least, we have peppermint, vanilla wafer, and whipped cream. This one's honestly probably my favorite of the mint sampler. But that is it for this portion of the haul. I'm sorry it's kind of short, but also hope you enjoyed this haul because your girl's about to be a broke ass bitch in January between going to Disney and my wedding. And I'm gonna be transparent. January is notorious for being the worst month for businesses. So, shop link down below. Anywho, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Bye.
Hello friends and welcome to another haul clip. I'm literally, I could hear the mailman outside of like, like the actual mailboxes for my apartment complex, like where they are on the, in the hallway, like that wall was part of my kitchen. So I could hear him out there and he was just like chatting away to somebody. So I was just waiting for my package to come. I thought it was just going to be one package, but then it was two packages. This haul clip was about to be like all wax until right now haven't even opened the packages well I took them out of the like mailer so you guys didn't see my address but we have a lot for this portion this is going to be a long portion I think I've said it before but January's haul is going to be slim to none because your girl's broke but this is like a lot of Black Friday stuff has been coming in I should have one more haul clip I'm filming this on the 21st I think the 21st I have one package from sassy wax melts that's said like accepted into the post office since the 17th so hopefully that sees some movement soon I'm gonna be seeing Carly from Carly plans later today I'm like picking her up from a doctor's appointment and so I'll have a package from her I believe and yes so there will be at least the Carly plans package by itself in a portion and I have a couple more things from the advent so there will be one more small portion after this but yes I have a bunch of advent days here from my two advents that I'm doing so I'm just going to go over them I'm not going to bother trying to get them in order I don't really care this was six day 16 from l3 which is in the burrow which is a like cinnamon roll scent with like extra frosting and extra brown sugar so it's the burrow sugar cookie royale and zucchini bread It just mostly smells like frosting to me. I've melted the burrow and have not been impressed with it. So, I mean, I'm going to melt that. I just don't have high hopes. This one's day 18. This one is red hot cinnamon candies and pumpkin pie crusts. This just smells like big red gum to me. It's fine. It reminds me of Kirsten because I know she loves red hot cinnamon scents. We have this one, which is pumpkin carvings and Danish butter cookies. I believe I hated this one. Oh, yeah. So, oh, my God. Yep, it's coming back to me. So, I have an allergy to penicillin. So, growing up, whenever I would get, like, any sort of ailment as a child, you know, you get, like, strep throat, they give you penicillin. You get an ear infection, you get penicillin. Everything that's wrong with you, you get penicillin. Well, I can't have that, otherwise my throat will close. <laughs> So, I swear, like, pharmaceutical companies just didn't care about, like, making other medicines, like, taste good for children. So, this smells exactly like whatever medication I was given as the alternative to penicillin. That is exactly what this smells like, and it makes me want to vomit. It is so gross. I'll see if Carly likes it later when I see her. And if she does, I will be roasting her. This one is black pepper or black sugar peppered suede and mahogany teakwood. This is a nice cologne scent. I do enjoy cologne scents. And so, yeah, I will melt that. It'll be really nice in the bathroom. This one is pumpkin seeds, oud, amber, noir, and tonka bean. Again, this is like a cologne type of scent. It'll be fine for the bathroom. Don't hate it. And then the last one I have so far is, this was actually today's, Spearmint Cotton Candy Frosting and Sugar Cookie. Love it. I love a spearmint scent, and I love, like, a minty bakery, so that one is pretty good. And then I have three more from the Fantasy Wax Advent. We have Krampus, which is marshmallow peppermint. This is so yummy. I get a chocolate note in this. I don't know why, but it's delicious, and I'm obsessed day 10 is jingle all the way which is vanilla bean noel type it's a classic it's heavenly and then day 11 which was today is miracle on 34th street which is bailey fresh pine and red hot cinnamon it smells like christmas so that'll be have to hold on till next year but it is good so i will throw away all of these little wrappers Pumpkin carving one? Oops, no thank you. Makes me want to vomit. Straight up. Not 
good. I always keep like a pile on the counter of like good and then things I need to get rid of. Bye bye. Okay, so I have a box here which I'm gonna go through so that I can put all the wax I'm keeping into it as I go. I believe this is my Fantasy Wax Melts order. It sure is. We got a couple of freebies in here and it's like a lot of duplicates. I did buy some of this for my sister. We've got Soda, Pop of Bubbles and Candy. This was the Buddy the Elf scent. That's what it smells like. We have got the Pineapple, Pine, comma, Apple, comma, Cinnamon, and Bayberry. This was, I think, also from the Whoville collection. Some very nice Christmas scent. And these are both ones that she's so far sneaked as of today are coming to the shop as core scents. We have got Love Spell. It's not for me. I kind of think it's more like B.O. And Pretzel. But Pretzel is absolutely for me. I'm obsessed with it. It smells so freaking yummy. I will not be keeping the love spell. I do not like that at all. So let me get this situated. Okay. I picked up four more of Whoville, which is the ginger nutmeg vanilla cocoa scent. It smells so yummy. It's like a, almost like a yummy gingerbread scent. So I did pick up four of them. This one got like annihilated. I don't really know how everything was bubble wrapped like in this box. That was just some bad luck. And then I did pick up two of the new Kirsten Fave. This one also got a little fucked up on its journey here, but it is what it is. And this is in 7 Up Pound Cake. It smells delicious. I'm obsessed with it. Kirsten must really love the bubbly scents because she had Dr. Pepper last year. So the rest is the full house collection. I got four Michelle, two, three Joey, two Danny, two Stephanie, two Jesse, and to DJ. okay so next is the full house collection i got four michelle three joey two jesse two dj two stephanie and two danny however one of each of these is going to my sister we grew up full house was her shit so had to get some for her this is the stephanie or the michelle tanner scent which is chocolate chip cookie dough when i first got them they were really cold and did not smell like chocolate chip cookies, but now that it's like warmed up to my house's temperature, it smells just like a warm chocolate chip cookie. Mm. So yummy, so obsessed, can't wait for that. And I'll put one aside for my sister. This one I honest, I knew I didn't like the scent of, but I had to have it. Me and my sister have an inside joke about Danny Tanner specifically, so had to get this one. And it is exactly how, you, if you think of Danny Tanner, what does he smell like? This is what he smells like. And it is Gain Island Fresh. Yep, that's what Annie Tanner would smell like, absolutely. Next, we have good old DJ, which is Rice Krispie Treats and Cotton Candy Frosting. This smells just like the 90s, like Walmart Cotton Candy Perfume, which is like perfect for like DJ. Teenager in the 90s, absolutely what she probably would smell like. Next, we have Stephanie, which is Rainbow Sherbert. This is like a nice sweet fruity scent. I think is a good pick for her. Next we have Joey, which is one of the ones I got three of. And this is sugared corn pudding. He's a little corny, you know? I love sugared corn pudding. This does not disappoint. I love it. And then lastly, we have Jesse, which is cool water type. This is like one of me and Chris's friends. Favorite scent of all time from any vendor. And they've been dying for it to come back. It was the Kristoff scent last year. And it's another one where like, you smell it and you're like, that is exactly what Uncle Jesse would smell like. It's like a sexy man scent. Perfect for who he is. So that was everything from Fantasy Wax. Let's move on, take a break from wax and do my three sticker orders. First off, this is not even order. This was in the advent for Fantasy Wax and I keep forgetting to show it so I can put it away. And it is just a journaling card, and then there's like these wax melt icons in gold, silver, hollow, and sparkly hollow. So I'll be able to put those away now. Okay, we have what is like my first order since like 2015 from Caress Press. I never order from Caress Press, no reason other than I just don't. I love that her cellos have the sticky on this part. Wow, that's like revolutionary. Anywho, this was the freebie. I will not keep this. I don't really 
won't use any of these um scraps and i don't really like those whole box overlays just a me thing but i got her lunar new year kit this is the kit freebie it's like two more full boxes i plan on using this with my um what's it called cherry blossom underlays in gold hollow i got the kit the full kit i think these are the full boxes and this kit is just absolutely stunning i got this in glossy i just am obsessed with the colors I wish she would change all of these to have nothing on the little thing. So that's just a small me thing. The bottom washi is really pretty. I didn't pick up the 15 millimeter washi for some unknown reason. And yeah, that is my small order from Caress Press. Now we have an order here from Scribble Prints A Co. This is the freebie I got in my order. And then I also got this freebie pack and the $75 plus freebie, which is these black scripts. And honestly, I probably won't use them. I don't really use black scripts. So I would rather um, de stash out somebody who will get more use out of it than I. I just make foil, so I just tend to use everything foiled. Okay. I already have one of these journaling cards, so I don't need two of them. So I will de-stash this journaling card. We've got the munchkins. We've got, I love this pink freebie. And then the sparkly holler, holler, sparkly holler, the sparkly hollow matte sampler. We love her. And then I picked up the new exclusive colorway, which was the black. Page seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Love that. And I did pick up three kits. And I picked up the 15 millimeter washi for all of them. And I think the fashion girls for one of them. So I picked up, let me zoom in a little, this kit, which is called Heartbreaker. I did pick up this 15 millimeter strip. I feel like I'm zoomed in too much. Uh, okay. This was the kit freebie. I think this box is so weird looking. I will not use it. Not a fan. These are the full boxes. This girl was like, I think the first part that Jess from Kittenish Jess, who did the artwork, sneaked. And oh my God, is she perfect. She is so stunning. Obsessed with her. Definitely going to use her. I love like this lingerie box. So cute. Hate the cat. Will not be using the cat. Gross. And then, of course, it's very, like, Valentine's Day color scheme. Love that pattern so much. It's so cute. And then the bottom washi, and it's, like, that hand again in the, like, mid-tone. Skin tone, I might actually have to use it. Eight, nine, you have to use ten half boxes, and I don't want to use the cat. So I'll honestly end up probably using that weird hand box, but I don't like it. Next up is the Ratatouille kit. Not even sure why I bought this. I don't even like the movie Ratatouille, but I had to own it. 15 millimeter washi strip is kind of like a plain tan color. This was the kit freebie and it is absolutely stunning. These are the full boxes. We've got Linguini and Remy and I don't really know that girl's name. I love that box with the spaghetti. I just love food in kits. So really drew me into this kit. I love the coral color as well. And the bottom washi. And then we've got like the frying pan. And so the next kit I got, literally, I just look at it and I'm like, wow, Carly. It's like the most Carly kit I've ever seen in my life. And it is called Till Death. And it's like a gothic Valentine's Day kit. And I'm obsessed with that. It's so cute. So pretty. I love it. If I can get everything out. Okay. Okay. Here is Zee Kit. I did purchase the 15 millimeter adder and the Fashion Girls because I wanted her. She looks the most like your girl. And this was the kit freebie. I'm obsessed with it. I love like combat boots. I love fishnets. So cute. And these are the full boxes, like I said. This tall box, so good. Love it. 
And the colors are super dark, super vamp. I don't know what color foil I'm gonna use with this though. Very undecided. And then that's this box with like the girl with the mid-tone legs. That is it from the good old Scribble Prince Co. And then I finally got my Black Friday order from Once More With Love. This is a thick order. I only really order from Once More With Love like once every two or three years and I just order everything that I could possibly want. So, this is a fat boy order. I did get a bunch of freebies. I got these little gift boxes, I suppose. I don't know. I'm not going to be keeping those because I will not use them. I got this little charm, which I don't know what this is, so I will not use that, so I'll pass that along. These little seals are really cute. I'll probably keep these. Actually, honestly, I won't use them. I'm not even gonna front with anybody. And then I got this little silver freebie. I will use that, so I'll take those things off of there. Um, we are nearing the end of November, so it's time to look forward to something new. I won't use any of those. And this is like um, from some little thing. I won't use any of those either. So, listen, I just like being realistic. If I'm not going to use it, there's no point in saving it. I might as well pass it on to somebody who will enjoy it. You know what I mean? This was the journaling card. And this is my thick order, okay? So, I needed to re-up all my Disney sheets after going to Disney. So, I have the You've Got a Friend in Me Part 2. Nightmares. It's a new sheet to me. Fight me. It's for all the times I get pissed off. This is the Pinocchio sheet, Alice, Brave, I loved these, I thought these were so cute, Backache, I don't have anything to mark for that, and I have Backaches quite often, Hunchback of Notre Dame, Hercules, Crybaby, because that's literally me, these are the Sailor Moon ones, I got these to mark doing stuff with Carly, Up, Anxiety 2, Hugging Pillows, Baby Playtime, I got this for when I visit my friend Caitlin and her kids. What's this movie called? I haven't even seen this movie, but here we are. I bought that. Angels. I am restocked this sheet. This is Monsters, Inc. Lilo and Stitch. Moana. Tiana. Rapunzel. Pocahontas, Mulan, Wreck-It Ralph, Winnie the Pooh, Sleeping Beauty, Snow White, Cindy, um, didn't mean to get three of these sheets, I meant to get two of them, but I bought three of the Frozen sheet, whatever, Little Mermaid, Lion King, Beauty and the Beast, Toy Story, Aladdin, and the Wedding Sheet, and the Cramps Sheet. So that is my Thick Boy order from Once More With Love. I just kind of wanted to go through that lightning speed. No point in dawdling, okay? I'm not a dawdler. Okay, I have two more wax orders to share with you guys. The first being from Birdies Making Sense. I want to show you guys this tissue that it came on top of it because it's so cute. It's like little Christmas gnomes. Love that. There is the instruction paperwork that comes with all your orders from Birdies. She did, it always includes some cotton balls. And this is like some marshmallows and candy canes and chocolate. And then my little freebie pack also has like little Christmas gnomes. We love a good theme. I have a red pen. Don't have a red one yet, so that'll be cute. Then we have three samples along with this. It says, Happy Holidays. Your purchase made my day. I hope this package brightens yours. Always does, Bridget. And then her business card. This is the first freebie. So cute. And it is called Claws. I said so. Peppermint, buttermint, pink sugar, and marshmallow fluff. I love a pink sugar mint scent. And this does not disappoint. It's phenomenal. Got this cute little deer. And this one's called Hold Me Close, Tiny Dancer. And it is creme brulee, vanilla hazelnut, sugar cookie, and a hint of salted caramel. 
I love it. I love anything with caramel. And then this last one looks like an orange. It's really cute. And it is in honey butter rolls, zucchini, pumpkin bread, and a mystery scent. I love it. Whatever the mystery is, it worked out good. So I actually loved all my samples, which I don't think ever happens. Into the order. I got these little snowballs, and they look like little cotton balls. And it says, don't flurry, be happy, peppermint, fresh snow. And fresh snow is winter air, mint leaf, Siberian fir, sugar plum, white thyme, tonka bean, cedar, whatever, blue spruce. This is like my wild card item, and it's okay. I'll use it in the bathroom. It's just not something I would probably get again, but it's not bad. Next is a repurchase of the zucchini pumpkin bread. I feel like this is a cult favorite. <coughs> a cult favorite from her shop. Everybody who's had this is obsessed. It's like not super spicy. It's like the perfect blend of pumpkin and zucchini. And I would melt this all year long, not just in the fall. Next, I got this cute little bar. And this one's in How Will You Do One? Which is cuppy cake, strawberry bread, strawberry white cake, and zucchini bread. And this is like almost like a candied strawberry. It's really yummy though. I like it a lot. I got a bunch of her like little cereal souffles. Um, and they hold a special place in my heart. Specifically this one. This is seriously corny, which is Amish cornbread, corn Amish cinnamon bread, cornbread, and sugar milk. This right here was like the first melt I ever bought from Birdies. So I just love that I get to melt it again. And it smells amazing. I love Amish cinnamon bread and I love cornbread and the sugar milk is oh, heavenly. That's super good. I got the cookie crisp cereal, which is milk to my cookie crisp and it is chocolate chip cookies and Cafe Vienna. It's such a good combo, the two of those. The next one, I accidentally ordered two of. And I after I placed my order, I was talking to one of my friends, maybe Ilza, about what I ordered, and I was like looking through it, and I was like, well, I guess I ordered two of these, but I'm not mad. It smells so good, and it is breakfast in bed. It's like the mini wheats, and it is a buttery gingerbread, maple pancakes, and coffee house. Three things I'm obsessed with, and this is like phenomenal. Oh, Bridget literally kills everything she does. I swear to God, she just looks at it, and it's amazing. Perfect. And then I have three of like the big Mamma Jamma souffles. Like, this is the size comparison of the two. And like these, this big fatty right here, this blueberry muffin one, was only 10 bucks and it's so humongous. Like, compared to my hands, oh gosh. And this one, Krista from Camry Plans underscore requested, and it is Muffin Can Stop You. And it's blueberry muffin zucchini bread. And it's heaven. It's literally like the, oh, just perfect. And then I got this cutie little polar bear, which is candy cane, pink sugar, and vanilla bean Noel. Like I said, I love mint and pink sugar. This is everything I wanted. I think I have this in just like a small candy cane shape, and somebody asked her to pour it in a bigger quantity. And so here we are. And the last souffle I got was this cute little penguin, and this is Cafe Vienna Cuppy Cake. I love her Cafe Vienna. And that cuppy cake is just a beautiful, like, bakery addition to it. So that's super good. And then lastly, I was able to get the love of my life, make up your mind, in a cute little loaf. Um, I placed two orders, one with just this, and then one with everything else. I put this in my cart first, and it was like, only two available and it's in 20 plus people's carts kind of bullshit so i was like yeah, check out and this is strawberry white cake zucchini bread i've had this a million times she always repours it because i've gotten i swear to god everybody addicted to it so it's always almost always in her restocks and for good reason everybody is obsessed with it it is so flip flopping good it deserves even more love than it already gets, and it already gets a lot. I honestly don't know if all this wax is even going to fit in my wax storage. And I think it will have to Because I need to stop. Okay. So 
next up is my Rose Girls Mario Melters order. They didn't do any samples. Some people randomly got, like, gift cards. But, like, I guess they did, ran out of time or something. I don't really know. But I did get quite a few of them, so let's just pop right in. We have got Wicked Plumbers. I love the two-tone of the Mario Mini Melters. This is green and lime green and blue. Wicked Plumbers, which is birthday cake, lemon cheesecake, waffle cone, and carbs. And then carbs is donuts, cookies, and bread. Mm. I really get the lemon cheesecake and the carbs. It's so yummy. I do love that one. When I first smelt these, they were still pretty cold from being outside. I live in New York, so it's disgustingly cold here. Next, I have Boo's Spooky Castle, which is blueberry, vanilla crunch donuts, and monster cookies. This is gray and light blue. I'm really mostly just getting the blueberry. I'm not getting much of anything else at the moment. But blueberry or blueberry, same thing. We both, our blueberry scents tend to take over. This was like my, I think what I liked the least in my box. And it is Rosalina, Rainbow Rosalina. I got it because Rosalina is like my character of choice. And it's freshly picked strawberries, rainbow sherbet, and summer sorbet. It's got a weird aftertaste, meant aftertaste, after scent. It smells good at first, and then like the after scent is kind of weird. So I'll note that in the summer and see how I feel about it. We got Donkey Kong Destruction. It's yellow and brown. Oh, this is just like a hodgepodge of all the colors. And um this one. So, I have banana bread carbs, so I should, should say I had it, and I hated how it smelled on cold. I was like, I don't get the hype. This is so runty, so gross, and then I melted it, and it was heaven. So, I'm not judging this too hard on cold, but it's banana cream pie, bear claw, and vanilla, cream, vanilla ice cream. I mostly just get runty banana right now, but I have high hopes that once on warm, the run tea will go away. I don't smell anything other than banana, though. I don't smell bear claws. I don't smell vanilla ice cream. We've got the coveted Moo Moo Tracks, which literally looks like cow print. And it is birthday cake, banana cream pie, fresh picked strawberries, and marshmallow smoothie. Honestly, to me, this and the Donkey Kong Destruction right now both smell exactly the same and just like banana. So, hopefully, they smell different once they get to warming. We've got Birdo's Magical Cupcake Land. Raspberry sauce, strawberry chip, and birthday cake. Her raspberry sauce is, I feel, very, like, highly talked about. This is, like, purple and pink. And I do get raspberry really strong. It's not a floral raspberry. It's very delicious, very fruity. It smells almost familiar to me, but I can't pinpoint what it smells like. But it's good. We've got Bowser Birthday Bash, and it's light pink and white, and it is... Confetti cake, cream cheese frosting, strawberry pound cake, strawberry vanilla milkshake. This I'm not getting much. I'm not getting any strawberry. A little bit. It's just like a very light vanilla. So I think this needs to marinate for a while. We have got Princess It's Cold Outside, which is blueberry pumpkin pancakes and a brown sugar. It's blue and brown. This smells weird, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not smelling any blueberry or any pumpkin or any pancake. I'm just getting kind of like an odd scent. So again, that may just need to marinate for a bit. We've got Grandma Got Ran Over by a Chain Chomp. I just love the name of that. This is dark blue and pink, and it is blackberry jam, butter cookies, cotton candy frosting, and waffle cone. It's delicious. I do really enjoy this one. We've got Koopa Claus is coming to town, which is royal sugar cookie, Gilligan Brew, which is like a coconut bread blend, and baked zucchini bread. And this is like Christmas colors, red and green. And yeah, it smells like a uh, coconut zucchini bread, which I'm a big fan of. We have got Have Yourself a Merry Mario Christmas. This is so yummy. This is Peppermint Mocha Cookies and Dunk My Donut. To me, Dunk My Donut is very cinnamon heavy. And yeah, this smells like a peppermint mocha sprinkled with cinnamon. Oh my god, that is so good. So good. This is 
another like eh one for me. It's not my favorite. And this is Snow Kingdom Candy Cane, Cool Peppermint, Vanilla Bean Noel, Vanilla Ice Cream, and Musk. The musk comes out a bit stronger than I would like. This actually has glitter on it. I don't know if any of the other ones did or if it's just this one to make it look like snow. But it's the musk for me. It's a little too musky. So this will be a bathroom scent. I don't hate it enough to de-stash it, but I don't love it. We have got Warp Zone, which is Monster Cookie Fluff Puff, Peppermint, and Vanilla Crunch Donut. I love this one. I first smell the vanilla crunch donut and then the peppermint. And it's so yummy. It's so funny how different noses pick different things up because I think Charity got this one, I believe, and said that she wished it wasn't so strong on the peppermint. But for me, the first thing I get is like the cookie bakery note and then the peppermint. It's just so interesting how different noses pick different things up. We have Starbeans Cafe which is espresso, vanilla crunch donuts, and vanilla bean Noel. Very strong on the coffee, but you do also get those vanilla bakery notes. It's delicious, one of my faves. And then my fave is Koopa Claus needs a latte, espresso, baked zucchini bread, royal sugar cookie, and Gilligan's brew. It's very similar to the Koopa Claus is coming to town, except for this one has um, coffee added to it. Otherwise, it's exactly the same. And they're both fantastic. But that was my Mario Melter haul. It was a pretty big one because from what I've gathered, she only does these scents like once a year, which is really annoying to me, honestly. I don't particularly love when vendors only have things available very rarely. That's why like L3 is one of my favorite vendors because they take requests and really listen to their customers. But that's it for this portion. There should be one more small portion after this. Welcome to the last part of this haul. Hope you guys are enjoying it thus far. I have a bunch of stuff to show you. I have a wax order, two sticker orders, in the end of the advents. I've been working on showing you guys both the L3 and the Fantasy Wax. I'm going to start with those. We'll start with the L3 ones. We have day 22 here. This is Let Them Eat Cake, Amber, and Oud. I hate this one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I don't like the Amber and Oud, so that is a no-go for me. Day 23. White Woods Twisted Peppermint and BMC. This is also a pass for me. I hate BMC. That's all I smell. So those are both no-goes for me. Day 24 is Pistachio Cookies Salted Caramel and Boom Boom Cream. Again, I don't like Boom Boom Cream. But yeah, I hate this. So this is going to go as well. The end of this advent did not go so well for me. And this is the last one, Pumpkin Firewood, P Pumpkin Peanut Brittle, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, and Toffee. And this one's good. I really like this. It mostly you just get the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. So I'm keeping this one and all of these are going into my no bin. here from Fantasy Wax Melt. We have day 12 and 13. Day 12 is Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas, which is winter candy apple type. And yeah, this just smells like a clean apple scent. It'll be good for the bathroom. I'm keeping all the ones from the Fantasy Wax. There's no like major issues or flops. And then this one, the Santa Claus, is just gingerbread and it's really good. I know I, I mel just recently melted their gingerbread scent from last year, which I'm assuming this is like the same oil. And I had said in that video, I was a little like eh about it because it was just plain gingerbread without any like icing, but then I melted it and it was amazing. So I'm sure I'll feel the same about this. Let's pop into our sticker orders. I have an order here from the wonderful Carly Plans. I do PR for Carly. So if you do order from her, use code Hannah15 to save 15% off. You'll get my freebie, you'll help your girl out, you know, all the things. If you're buying stuff already on sale, 
then you can just pop Hannah in the notes and still get my freebie. You'll get it in one of her main three colorways, which is bright, pastel, and neutral, or you may get lucky and get it in the color of the month. I got mine in brights this month. It's my freebie. I have a computer, a Diet Coke, a camera, a game board, a snowflake, which you can use for snowing, frozen. And I was just watching Bonjour Dormi's um, haul, and she said she got the snowflakes even marked like hockey, so you could use them for winter sports. That would be cute as well. The money, the laundry detergent, Happy Meal, fork and knife, and a cupcake. This was the December freebie, and then this was the $15 plus freebie. Obviously, those are insignificant, irrelevant at this point for you, but this is a pretty small order. We have got the gummy candy. Don't know why I bought that, but here we are. Takeout bag. The potato chips in assorted. And in the, this was the December colorway. The sassy cakes that just say that bitch. Middle fingers and the light skin tone. I think there's light, medium, dark. Breakfast sammies. And then the chill pills. Don't know why I bought that. I don't take medication. Like, I'm not prescribed anything, so I don't know what I'll use those for. But... That is my order from Carly Plans, and then I have an order here from SPC, along with a mystery kit from SPC. I've been waiting for these two SPC orders all day long so that I could film this video. Okay. The regular mail is here. Okay, so this was the order freebie. It's a bunch of New Year's icons. I got one of these little oopsie misfit random crap bags. I don't really know what they're called. SPC freebie pack. There we go. Here's some. Oh, I might be that. I guess what the oops is. This is Fam Four from some Christmas kit that I don't have. Oh, some hollow bows. Those are super useful. Some V Day scripts. Dividers. Happy Valentine's Day in gold. A blue like vinyl and some flag overlays so those are super cute and i did get the exclusive colorway i always get them all the pages so we've got seven six five she hasn't had like regular new releases in a couple of weeks she did just have a baby though so congratulations if you're watching this andrea my favorite sheet is the disney sheet so then the one kit i got was the edward scissorhands kit i did grab this 15 millimeter washi and i've been noticing that she's been doing more patterned 15 millimeter washies i'm a big fan i think it's really cute okay this is a kit freebie it's this mint color that i will absolutely be bringing in i'm obsessed with it and these are the full boxes i've recently just watched edward scissorhands for the first time in a couple of years so I'm so excited to have this kit. The colors are so fun because like the kit has a lot of black and then the 15 millimeters like the black. So then just like popping it out with all of these pastels is just literally so fun. I have no idea when I'll use it, but I'm happy to add it to the collection. The extra box there of like the mom and her Avon get up. And yeah, I don't plan on using this for Valentine's Day, zero intention on that, but here we go. And then I do have the January 2022 mystery kit. Get her open. Okay, lots of extras this month. Okay, we'll go over the foil first. There is the foil bundle in like a matte bronze is this what this is i don't know i don't use the spc bougie boxes so i will take those out to be de-stashed love this sheet's always my favorite and then i like this like it's not like twinkle her regular twinkle i think this might be a new pattern it's like little diamonds i don't know it's super cute love that and it can be used with so many different kits because i will probably not use it with this kit honestly it came with this little sticker extra. I will take these off and put them just in my sticker collection. And it came with these overlays to, so you can like make this kit either like, may your wishes come true, happy birthday, birthday babe, like different quote overlay, thingy-ma-bobbers. 
And I'm planning on using this for my bridal shower. It doesn't fit the vibes of my bridal shower, honestly, because I'm, I'm doing a Harry Potter themed bridal shower, but it's so pretty and it's the only thing I can think of to use it for. Stunning. Me and Carly were talking about it and she was like, I might use it for your wedding and one of my planners. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna use it for my shower. And she's like, oh, good idea. So she'll probably use it for that as well. The little hand. The colors are really pretty. Let's see the patterns. You guys know my favorite preach. Ooh, I love that. These two are so good. And then all of the exclusive pages. There's a whole sheet of people, so I probably honestly won't use any of those. So yeah, there's these different bags for like if you want to make it a baby shower, love, or birthday. I'll use the love one, of course. And this can be like a scene with two people or one person. I'll probably just use the blonde girl. That's it for my SPC order. And the last thing I have to show you for this entire haul is my order from Sassy Wax, Sassy Girl Aroma. I get so tripped up by that. So this box was, this is a prime example of it's the post office, not the vendor. On the 17th of December, it just said accepted at the post office. And then it said absolutely nothing for almost two weeks. And then it was out for delivery. So that's just how it'd be going. I got two freebies, which I've never gotten two freebies. So that's exciting. These are the two I got. I like this one, which is just lollipops. It's like a sweet sugary scent. Be really nice in like the summertime. I hate this one. It's citrus linen H2O. It's like a powdery laundry scent. Hate it. It's gonna go. Um, I got one loaf, a couple of souffles and a bunch of bars. start with the souffles. I got them both in the same flavor scent. Pretzel milkshake. I got a different pretzel scent you'll see in the bars that I do like more than this one. So I'm not obsessed with the fact that I got two of these, but it is what it is. I'm sorry if the angle changed. My phone was like about to die. So anywho, I got two of these. They're good. It's just, I wish I would have got two of the other pretzel one is what I'm saying. Sorry, Chris is loud. But this one is pretzel milkshake, which is creamy vanilla ice cream, salty pretzel bits, and gooey chocolate drizzle. The chocolate is what throws me off a little, I think. But honestly, the more it's been sitting here, the even better it's been getting. This smells more like a crunchy pretzel than like a soft pretzel. Which is, I guess, why I don't love it. I will still melt it, no big deal. I just probably won't get this again, and I wish I didn't get two, but here we are. So there, was, uh, there is those. Go over my loaf and then go over all the bars. So I love her loaves. They are so heavy. They're 17 ounces. And I got mine in mint coffee cookies. And it's peppermint sugar crystals, latte, and sugar cookies. And it's so good. It smells like a peppermint mocha with cookies. Straight up. It's so delicious. I love it. I'm very excited to melt that. Eight. technically nine bars but one of them I mistakenly added two of them to my cart so now I have two and that is this one which is banana split milkshake cookies I don't know what happened these were packaged super well and then still got like annihilated in the mail could not tell you but this is banana chocolate sauce sweet cherry and sugar cookie crumbs the cherry really does add something special and that people were raving about this scent. I had mentioned how I accidentally bought two and they're all like, girl, like it's a happy accident. It's really good. So we'll see if I like it, then I'll keep both of them. If I don't, then I'll pass the other one on. Of course, I got this one, which is phenomenal. This one is Harry Potter. I liked this so much that I had to like run over to tell Ilza from... Ilza, she just changed her name, Melts and Plans, maybe? Ilza, you guys know her. She um is obsessed with tea and cakes blends, and this is my favorite rendition of tea and cakes I've ever experienced. And it is tea and cakes, blackberry butter, and jam cookies, vanilla sugar waffle cone. This one's actually not broken. Her bars are so beautiful. Take it out since this one's in one piece. It's so good. It's literally the absolute best tea and cakes blend ever. So I'm super looking forward to that. I'm saving my two favorites for last. Got Starbucks coffee. This one's also intact. Maybe it was just those 
banana ones that are fucked up. It's literally like the color of Starbucks. This one's Colombian coffee with a hint of buttery caramel and a splash of whipped cream. This one's definitely co coffee first. So it's a nice strong coffee. If you don't like strong coffee, then you would literally hate this. But if you like strong coffee in this household, since I hate coffee to drink, but I love coffee since this one's a little also broken, but it's really pretty. And this one's in York Mint, Peppermint, Chocolate, Dairy Notes, and Vanilla. It smells exactly like a York Peppermint Patty. You can almost like, I know Danny mentions this a lot about wax, but you can like smell the texture of a York Peppermint Patty when you smell that. We have got Saturday Night, which is blackberry, zucchini bread, and birthday cake. This one's also really pretty. It's like purple and yellow. Oh my God, this is phenomenal. Mm, you really get that blackberry mixed with that zucchini red. I don't really get much birthday cake. It probably just lends a little bit of sweetness, but it is so good. Got psychiatric ward. This one's really destroyed. And this one's butter cookies with blackberry and strawberry jam, vanilla bean, Noel donuts, and zucchini. I love this. The name is just funny. And then it's very jammy. You really get the strawberry and the blackberry jam. And then like a hint of that zucchini. It's so good. Obsessed. And then my two favorites are like a G6, which is caramel vanilla pound cake and cornbread muffins. I love cornbread scents. So good. This almost has like a mapley note to it. It's so yummy. I love that. Super excited. And then my number one favorite of this whole order. This is the one I wish I would have gotten like three of. And it is out of the bread box, which is pretzel latte vanilla bean at Noel. And it is so good. This is like the soft, like Auntie Anne's pretzel type of pretzel. And it's so good. Obsessed with it. Obsessed. That's it, guys. That's everything for this obnoxious January haul or December haul. My January haul is going to be probably less than 30 minutes. I'm going to Disney, so I need to like not spend money. And January tends to be like slower business month just to be like transparent and my wedding's five months away so we gotta be cautious on our spending but if you guys did like this video then give it a thumbs up if you did not then give it a thumbs down either way you're helping on my channel comment down below subscribe if you have not already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys